Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hey welcome, I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with an unboxing from Carrot Art. Carrot Art was so kind and sweet to reach out to me and ask if they could send me a couple of kits to unbox. One I unboxed last month for you guys, it was the Femke De Deborah Mermaid that looked absolutely beautiful. And this is one that actually was one of the very first ones that caught my eye. Um, I had made a purchase from them previously, but I always try out a round drill kit from a company before I try out a square drill kit. However, Carrot Art has really sold me on their squares because they have some really fantastic looking quality resin squares that I am so excited to get to try out very soon. And so when I did ask them about this kit, they were more than happy to send it to me. So the kit I will be sharing with you guys today is, let me see if I can get it in frame here, <laughs> Strawberry Fairy. Now it's not the best look at the artwork because I'm right up next to the camera, but I will give you a much better look at it shortly. So this is a little bit bigger size and that said 70 by 80 and it's gonna have squares uh, but I am stoked because I thought this artwork was absolutely beautiful there's a dragon in it and so that is my personal weak spot I love anything and everything with dragons and um, yeah so I was excited about that we have all this pretty pink branding from carrot art on their boxes and what's included in their kits and how to diamond paint but let's take a look and see what's actually gonna be inside the box if you're brand new to diamond painting and would like a beginner video I do have one that's just a step-by-step -step instruction guide and demo that I will link for you down in the description box. So it looks like all of the kit contents are gonna be included, sealed in here. Am I missing the part where I open it? Oh, here it is, the send. I can already tell just from looking at it here, like that printing looks really clear. That looks really good. Uh, so this is the bottom here. Here's what I'm gonna do actually. I'm gonna first unroll it this way, get everything out of the middle and then help it lay flat a little bit better. So they do have this soft lint backing that's pretty popular with some diamond painting companies right now. And it feels like a nice material. Um, I will show you everything that's included, but first I'd really like to get this canvas laying flat for us. So Carrot Art does use poured glue on their canvases. So if a company uses poured glue on their canvas, it is totally safe to roll backwards like this. This is one really good way to help it lay flat. The other way to help it lay flat is to peel back the plastic cover, which I will show you that as well. But that really did the trick. Look at how cute this artwork is. Okay, so the name on this one again, this is Strawberry Fairy. The artist is Francisca Ditlifson. I am butchering that. I am so incredibly sorry. It's an absolutely beautiful name and I wish that I knew how to pronounce it correctly. But there is a better look at the original artwork. Isn't that pretty? I think I'm gonna have an even better one for you here in just a moment as well. So let me show you what was included in the kit and then I will take you on a little tour and a closer look of the canvas. But just look at how, look at how sweet this artwork is. I love it. So, um, I don't see a toolkit. I think that that is something that they either forego or you can opt into, I believe. I'm almost positive, which is fine because I have plenty of toolkits like save on, please save on waste. <laughs> but we do get a roll of washi tape. I do like to use washi tape uh, around the edge of the drill field because sometimes there's a little bit of glue that goes past the edge of the drill field. Uh, so I appreciate that they include that. It's fun that it's branded. We do also have a larger sticker sheet here. So there is a nice look at the original artwork. So sweet, so dreamy, really two of the things that I look for in my diamond paintings, honestly. Uh, so there's the artist's name again. My apologies for not being able to pronounce it terribly well. 70 by 80 centimeters, and this is going to have square drills. They're new, high quality, 100% resin drills. Um, we do also have a set of pre-cut stickers over here, 77 colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ABs quite colorful uh but that i mean look at this canvas i think that that makes sense that's going to be really really nice and i think it also the number of colors i think scales depending on the size of canvas that you get because um 
And depending on what they have in stock at the time, they offer most of their kits in round or square drills you can choose. And a lot of them seem to offer multiple sizes uh, and, and most drill shapes, I think. So I know like the square one, I'm pretty sure came in two different sizes and they only had the larger one in stock at the time that they sent this over. So this is a 70 by 80. And like I said, I think that, that the number of colors and the number of ABs did scale up a bit if you went with a larger size. So, um, we do have, let's see, uh, these are a set of pre-cut stickers like I mentioned. We have like the legend number on the side and then the symbol, which is a mix. We have a mix of alphanumeric and non-alphanumeric. And then the number on the right-hand column looks like the DMC color code, which is what most diamond painting companies use. It comes from the DMC brand of floss. And um, like I said, yeah, most diamond painting companies do use that color system. So if you want to save your, save your diamonds after, you can label them from, you know, that DMC color code and go go easily that way so let's take a look i want to share the different parts of this canvas with you let's take a little tour together um the printing my goodness the printing on this looks really really incredibly clear like i feel like i can see it from way back here it looks really good uh so here we've got their branding and their name again we've got a schematic over here at the top left with a thumbnail of the original artwork and a color list that you can refer to and we have the same legend, which is very large and schematic over here. Or this is just this one's just a color list over here at the bottom left. And then when we get to the very bottom left of the canvas, I did briefly show this to you earlier. But again, we have the thumbnail, the title and the artist, uh, the skew and the size. So 70 by 78 centimeters. Now, um, most diamond painting companies, if they list the artist like this one has, um, that means that they are licensing the artwork legally. And I know for a fact that Carrot Art does legally license all of their artwork. That means that the artist here has both given permission for the use of their artwork and is being fairly compensated for it as well. Since art theft is unfortunately a bit common out there, I am all about shouting out companies like Carrot Art that are doing right by artists, getting their permission to use their artwork and compensating them as well. And hey, we get to enjoy it even more that way too. <laughs> Here we've got their website, which I, of course, I will link to this kit directly below. I'm not positive it'll be in stock when you guys go and take a look, but if it's not, go and take a look at some of the other amazing artwork that they have. And I'll link to the other unboxings that I've done from them as well. Uh, so ooh, there we go, you guys, you got a discount code. You can save a bit on your purchase as well. Let's look at this drill field and see what we're working with. So colorful. This looks so vibrant and so pretty. At first glance, like I said, well, for one, the, the symbols are printed very, very clearly. Maybe this one that's like white print on a light green background is a tiny bit, come on camera focus, uh, is maybe a tiny, tiny bit hard to see, but not really. That's me being very nitpicky. Uh, it looks like we're gonna have a mix of color blocking and confetti. Let me give you some examples. So here's a really good example of color blocking. It's a term that the diamond painting community uses to describe when there's like a section of all the same color in a small area. So you'll be able to use your multi-placer in there um, and have that color in your tray for longer. And so it's nice because that kind of keeps it moving. And then we have some sections of, let me find a good one to show you. We do have some sections of maybe what we call confetti. I suppose this is a good area. A lot more color changes in a small area. So you'll be changing out that color in your tray more often, probably primarily using a single placer, but lots of color changes in here. But the nice thing is when you've got confetti like that, you get lots of really nice detail usually. So I like both in my kit because um, confetti keeps it interesting, but color blocking really does keep it moving. Look at their sweet faces. This looks rendered really well, just from the printing on the canvas. This is really beautiful. Now, I did chat with the owner a little bit, and she said that um, she does hand render everything herself, actually. She is really, really passionate about um, her company and uh, how the artwork translates. And so I think that's really, that's really neat. Like she's being really intentional about it. Now I do still need to work on one of their kits and see how does the rendering work up. My, my plan actually is that here in the next couple of weeks, here in the next week or two really, um, I'm planning to kit up the very first kit that I purchased from them, uh, which was called Magic Encounter by the artist Ophelia Honey. And it's, um, it has round drills. And uh, that's kind of just my rule of thumb is that I will work on a kit that has round drills first and then do squares because that just sort of lets me focus on sort of evaluating 
and reviewing the the like basics of the kit and sometimes square drills like there can just be like that added factor um, but I'm feeling pretty good about it we'll look at the square drills in the bags a little more closely but um, if they're using 100% resin squares then I am really highly optimistic about the quality on these for sure so we are at almost 70 centimeters left to right which is what we are listed as and then we are at let's see Make sure we're flat all the way down. We are at just a tick shy of 78 centimeters. So that is true to size. Also wonderful to see that. So I'll just let this beautiful artwork hang out in the background and I'm gonna pull out the diamonds for us to look at. I really wanna look closely at these squares, get a sense for how we're feeling about the quality just at first glance. So we do have two packages of diamonds here. This is a bigger kit, so this is not surprising to me. Uh, it looks like we do have the sticker here, so that, and here as well. Um, so that if you do store the canvas separate from the diamonds outside of the box they came in, this kind of item number here matches up with the item number that's at the bottom left of the canvas. So easy to match those up. Looks like these come in resealable baggies, which I know some people love these because then they can just work straight out of these. It's very convenient. But let's take a look at these pretty colors. We'll start with the bigger bag here. And I will certainly pull out the AB drills to show you as well. But first, that's just like the prettiest set of colors for the kit. These pretty shades of green and like oranges and reds. This is a bag of, okay, so this is 939. That's the DMC code. The 40 is going to match up with the color like the the legend number here 939 and then the number at the bottom 21.83 i'm sure is the number in ounces so these were measured out by weight i'm looking because you know what uh, if you're looking to try to get a sense for okay are these going to be nice quality squares they say to look at the darker colors because for whatever reason something about the manufacturing process those are the ones that tend to have issues if there are going to be issues but i'm looking and i'm seeing some really uniform cut like bases on these i'm not seeing any tabs sticking off it'll be easier to see in the brighter colors <laughs> They look very consistent in size from what I can tell. They do look like resin drills from my limited knowledge and experience. Yeah, so I am very optimistic about the quality on these just at first glance. Let's take a look at some of these other colors though. My gosh, such beautiful colors to work with. Oh my goodness. So again, here's just... Uh, I was it's easier to see the colors from the other side but here's the again the DMC number and the weight and everything oh we have some like light happy pastels oh my gosh isn't that a happy color spread I love that that is so 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 fun very spring summer vibes a big big bag of this 772 light green I'm trying to see were there any ab's in this particular bag i don't think so but here's some more some pink some reds some more blues very very colorful kit very very colorful kit from what i'm seeing across the board with these colors they do look good the squares look really good really really good All right, I see some ABs in here, you guys. First, it just looks like strawberries, like happy summer strawberry vibes <laughs> with the oranges, pinks, and greens. If you're a fan of green, this might be the one for you. Okay, let me pull out these ABs. Look at those in just a sec, but here's kind of the last look at some of the rest of these colors. Again, lots of greens, lots of yellows, actually. Some pretty pinks and reds. So here we go. Was it eight ABs? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, here's all eight. So let me explain real quick in case you are unfamiliar with ABs. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These diamonds are named after the Northern Lights. And uh, they've got this really pretty iridescent coating on the top. It's even more sparkly than regular diamonds are. It's gonna dry your eye to the areas that this, these have been charted. Look at those shades of green. 
So incredibly pretty. A nice big bag of this pale yellow. This really striking dark green and this nice neutral white. But these will, yeah, these will highlight the areas they've been charted, draw your eye to them, and just have a really, really pretty and extra sparkly effect. So what I'm gonna try to do, this is a big canvas and there's a bit of confetti, but I'm gonna do my very best here to kind of point out to you where I am seeing these AB colors. So let me see, we've got these reds and oranges, we have some greens and then the yellows and whites. Okay, so <laughs> uh, taking a look, I see some, uh, I see one white AB here <laughs> and then I see, um, some of the green ABs kind of sprinkled a little bit throughout here, a little, let me see. Yeah, kind of sprinkled throughout some of these areas. I see this downward pointing triangle is one of our green ABs. And then let's take a look. Then as we're moving up, I see some of the orange AB in here. I see, let me check. Okay, that red AB is actually the circle. Okay, there's a little bit of the red AB in here. The dot, the red dot, or the white dot on the red background. And man, hunting through confetti. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm very good at it. <laughs> And finding ABs. Looks like we're gonna have a bunch of the pale yellow AB over here. Or sorry, that's not the pale yellow, it's the darker yellow, yellow orange over here. And then the pale yellow. I wonder if that'll be in the sky. Okay, we have a bunch of the white AB sprinkled in this area right here. And I see some of the green, a couple of shades of our green AB up here. And a couple of shades of our green AB through here, and some over here as well. And then uh, some of the yellowish orange AB up there. Let me check my colors here. Okay. I have to look at the legend to remind myself of the symbols. <laughs> uh, and then we do have some of the red AB in her hair. And then I see some of the different shades of green ABs and some of the darker areas on the dragon. And I'm seeing some of the palest yellow AB sprinkled throughout the glow in the background. Uh, yeah, like quite a bit. That lowercase letter A is our pale yellow AB. And then we've got, I'm not missing any. Uh, we have some of the darker yellow AB sprinkled through here. And then let's see. I see a couple of our green ABs in the, in the colors over here as well. We will caution you guys, because as I'm looking, I'm seeing these symbols. So we have two symbols that are, are white triangles on uh, a darker background. One is green and one is dark blue. They're very distinctly either pointing to the left or the right. I'm just gonna point it out to you to make sure that you are paying attention when you're pulling symbols, that you're grabbing the right one and not just go, not on autopilot, you know? And then we have some more of the green, the various shades of green ABs over here too. So I, it is very likely, oh, I see some orange ABs at the top of her head. Ooh, and highlighting in her hair, the letter G is the orange AB. And then some of that downward pointing arrow in here is a green AB. So it's very likely that I maybe missed some of the ABs because like I said, there's a lot of confetti. Ooh, these, her wings, her fairy wings are white ABs. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. Totally gonna have a gossamer effect. So that's gonna be so striking. Um, anyway, third time's a charm. I very likely missed some of the ABs in this one because um, it was a little bit of, it's a little bit of a hunt and I didn't want to keep you here all day, but rest assured that it seems like the AB placement is pretty and that it's sprinkled throughout. I think you're going to have a really nice effect with the ABs in this kit, along with just what I can tell of the render at first glance. The printing on the canvas, this looks beautiful. I am so, so, so incredibly curious to see how this works up. While this is a larger size at 70 by 78 centimeters, I think that that is really going to pay off beautifully and make this artwork just so gorgeous once it's complete. Now, um, I'm not sure exactly when I'll get to this exact kit, but like I said, please Please stay tuned because I am going to be kidding up um, Magic Encounter, which is which is from Carrot Art by the artist Ophelia Honey, and 
I am so incredibly excited to work on that one. I feel like it's a little bit more seasonal for the season that we're in, which is more like wintery. Um, but I could totally see myself and maybe I'll try to make a goal to work on this one this spring or summer just to see what Carrot Arts squares are like. But I am highly optimistic. The quality looks really excellent. Um, I can... I mean, I'm not an affiliate. <laughs> they did send this kit to me, but I've tried to give you a really honest and unbiased opinion. I would say go and take a look at what they have to offer because I think they have some beautiful artwork, all licensed from a really nice variety of artists. The owner is hand charting these pieces. Uh, so we are getting that really like there's that touch of detail that comes with hand charting. And I am very, very curious to see how this does work up. So I will link to this specific kit. I'm going to link to the other two unboxings that I've done from this company. And please stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram and uh, here on YouTube as well. I will be posting progress pictures when I start Magic Encounter over on Instagram. And then, of course, I will film a full post review where I can share my impressions with you, show you what the canvas looks like with diamonds down. We can see what the render on that one looks like. Um, not not just from looking at the printing on the canvas, but actually seeing it completed with drills down and everything. So stay tuned for that. Speaking of, please subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss that video. Um, and if you did enjoy this video and find it helpful, would you mind giving it a thumbs up on your way out? Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. A huge thank you to Carrot Art for sending this over to me for review. I hope this was helpful for you guys and gave you at least an initial sense for what to expect if you were to purchase a kit from Carrot Art even if it's not this exact one. Be sure to check back with them as well because it seems like they restock relatively regularly. And the owner has been very um, sweet and responsive as well. So I'm sure you can reach out to them if you have questions. All right, my friends, thank you so much again for watching. I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. And I will chat with you in the next one. Bye.